In this video, we're going to talk about functions of several variables. So let's talk about the notation. So notation. So normally, um, you have um, the following notation for functions of one variable. We would have y equals f of x. And in one variable, x is the input and it comes from the domain and y is the output and it's in the range. So y is f of x. So f of x is actually the y value at x and it's in the range. So with several variables it's a little bit different. So one case could be the following. We would have z equals f of x, y. And so in this case, the input is an ordered pair. So x, y, x comma y rather, is the input. And it resides in the domain, so it's from the domain. And in this case, z is the output. So z is your output variable and it's in the range. So it's very very similar to one variable except you have two variables as input. Um, you could have x, y, z as input and in that case you could let w be your output. So for example you could even do this f of x, y, z and then in this case x, y, z this is your input and so this is in your domain. And then your W is your output. And that's in your range. And you can go further. You can go nuts. You can have N variables as an input and then another variable as your output. You know, you, you could do something like W equals F of X sub 1 comma dot 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 X sub N. So your input is an N tuple. So you have a function that has and tuples as inputs. Let's go ahead and, and do some examples of evaluating functions of several variables so you see how, how it works. So let's say we have um, f of x, y equal to, I don't know, let's see, x squared plus y squared plus 3. And let's go ahead and evaluate this at various values. Let's look at f of 1 comma 2. That would mean that we replace all of the x's with 1's and all of the y's with 2's. So this would be 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3. This would be 1 plus 4 plus 3. So 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. So that's equal to 8. So f of 1, 2 is equal to 8. So this is your output and your input is the ordered pair 1 comma 2. Let's look at another example so we see how this works. How about f of uh, x, y, z equal to the natural log of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. And let's look at uh, f of 1, 2, 3. So in this case, we replace all of the x's with 1, uh, the y's with 2, and the z's with 3. So it would become 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared. So this is equal to the natural log. Uh, let's see, this is 1 plus 4 plus 9. So this is a 4, and this is a 9, and this is a 1. It's going to be the natural log of 14. Right, 5 plus 9 is 14. So that would be the answer there. So evaluating functions of several variables is very similar to evaluating functions of single variables. Um, that's it. I hope this video uh, has been helpful.